Hello friends, welcome to Endo Tales from Life. In this video, we are going to discuss about polypotomy and apexification. Very commonly, I've been asked this question, when are these two procedures indicated and how do we perform it in a simplified way? So, we are going to see two case demonstration, one for each procedure and we are also going to crisply discuss about the indications of both these procedures. So, first let's discuss about pulpotomy. So, pulpotomy is a procedure, it's considered a vital pulp therapy procedure because this procedure retains the pulp's vitality. So, basically this procedure can be only be done in a tooth that still has its vitality. This procedure cannot be done in a tooth that is already necrotic. So, this procedure basically involves partial removal of the exposed infected pulp and retaining the vitality of the remaining pulp. So, ideally after trauma, when the patient reports to you with uh, a pulp exposure, generally SWEC used to recommend the exposure time uh, to be less than 48 hours after trauma, but now studies are even in favor of delayed exposures like uh, even up to four to six weeks after trauma and pulp exposure you can still do this pulpotomy and the more uh, famous one that we are going to talk about is the partial pulpotomy procedure. So what do we gain by retaining the vitality of the pulp is uh, originally this pulpotomy procedures were done in young permanent teeth when the pulp was exposed after trauma and these teeth when they particularly didn't have their root formation completed this pulpotomy procedure allowed to retain the radicular pulp's vitality so that the apexogenesis which is a natural or the physiological process will take place and the root closure will happen in a physiological way and after which uh, root canal treatment uh, was performed in a later stage. So uh, one such indication was this case that I did in the past you can see a young boy who reported at a very young age, uh, almost seven years. You can see the uh, blunderbuss canals, the root apex is not closed, but the patient reported immediately after the trauma. So we did, did, did uh, a pulpotomy procedure and you can see the pulp's radicular pulp's vitality was preserved. And when we kept following this patient, periodically you could see the apexogenesis taking place. And in the 15 months follow-up, you can see the complete root formation. So this was originally done just to, for the root formation to be complete. And later, they thought pulpotomy needs always an endodontic treatment at the end. But we did uh, a series of case reports. And way back in 2009, you can see uh, two cases with two-year follow-up. We started recommending pulpotomy for recently traumatized and pulp-exposed tooth, even in adult teeth even with root closure completed as a permanent procedure. So pulpotomy is no longer considered just a temporary procedure to promote the root closure or apexogenesis. Pulpotomy is now a permanent procedure for all pulp exposure immaterial of the patient's age and the root formation. It can still be performed on any patient. So when a patient reports to your practice with the pulp exposure, the moment you see the pulp next time, do not jump into do root canal. You can still do a very simple procedure called the partial pulpotomy and you know preserve the tooth's vitality. So that's what we are going to see as the case number one. Then when do we do the apexification is when the tooth has turned necrotic, when the radicular pulp has already lost its vitality. This is when the patient comes very late like few months later or years later after the trauma and pulp exposure there is no other go we may have to do the apexification because a mere endodontic treatment will not help and apexification is i mean pulpotomy is not possible we have to now close the apex by doing a procedure called apexification where we used to place mta then we had biodentin or we place a 4 millimeter of an apical barrier with the biomaterial like MTO biodentin following which you complete the obturation. All right. So uh, when it comes to biomaterials, uh, apart from MTA and biodentin, both of which are not very easy to handle, they have their own limitations. I've always been waiting for this material, which is the bioceramic putty, which is basically uh, 
the same bioceramic used in the bioceramic sealer but in a more putty like consistency or a clay like consistency which is very easy to handle but unfortunately this material is not available in india till date and luckily i got the sample of this material from the company called d and joy and this is en route putty so both the cases in this video are demons are done with this bioceramic putty which is much much simpler than handling both mta or biodentin so this is the case number 1 the patient is a young boy you can see uh, he reported with a trauma and uh, the root closure is almost completed it's not in the developing stage but still the patient reported within 48 hours after trauma and i'm not going to do endodontic treatment for this patient i am only going to do the pulpotomy procedure and this is how the procedure is done after anesthesia you can use the regular burrs and you're just going to prepare 2 mm into the pulp chamber and remove just the 2 to 3 mm of the exposed pulp this is called the partial pulpotomy following which you will see some amount of bleeding which can be arrested with some pressure and a wet cotton soaked i mean a saline soaked cotton pellet in the past even hypochlorite soaked cotton was recommended but now we recommend just a cotton soaked with saline and give some pressure passive pressure and leave it alone for 5 minutes and after 5 minutes when you achieve uh in a hemostasis then you can just pack your biomaterial into this so in this particular scenario i did not use mta i just use uh, the en route putty packed it in and which was very easy to handle and uh you can see this is the amount of uh the coronal biomaterial that i placed and after placing it just sealed it with a flowable composite and completed the composite restoration and the procedure for this patient is complete and this is not a temporary procedure i repeat this partial pulpotomy is considered a more permanent procedure and the follow ups you will see that the radicular pulp vitality the success rate of this partial pulpotomy are really really high as high as 96 percentage so this is the biomaterial that is used the bioceramic putty and about which i done my simple composite restoration for this patient the case number 2 is again a young boy but this time the patient did not report uh, immediately they reported few years later and you can see the tooth has already become necrotic it's discolored the tooth did not respond to the pulp sensitivity testing and uh, radiographically you can also see that the root apex is not completely closed So now I'm going to perform a very simple apexification procedure. So in one of our previous video we must have already discussed about a simplified apexification procedure with MTA biodentin but this procedure that I'm going to do now was much much easier than that. So all I did was I was trying to fit my plugger the first plugger that I tried was too big then I chose a much smaller plugger and this plugger was having a snug fit and still little 3 to 4 mm short of the root apex uh, so this will be very useful for me to pack my bio material or the putty material over there so all i did was take a little bit of the bio ceramic putty and just place it into the pulp chamber use my plugger and gently condense it was so easy to condense compared to mta or any other material and you could see it has pretty good radio opacity and it's right there at the apex i didn't have to wait for me to do or proceed with my obturation i just uh, uh, after placing the apical barrier fill some bioceramic meti bioceramic sealer in the canal and started doing gentle warm vertical compaction and using my injectable gutta percha and this is how i did the segmental obturation you can see the gp is shared well below the cej because i also planned for a non vital bleach in this particular case you can see the gp is sheared well short of it and then put a little bit of flowable composite for the cervical barrier so that my bleaching does not penetrate into the root surface and still have adequate space in the pulp chamber 
and this is my cervical barrier and following this I place my uh, non vital bleach which is from ultradent opalescence endo and then placed uh, a composite entrance at the top and one week later this is the result so just uh, two case discussion I think would have made it clear for you about when to go for pulpotomy when to go for a fixification and also when it comes to the material of choice I can't wait uh, to you know order more of these materials start uh, replacing the empty and biodentin in my practice but uh, unfortunately we don't have this when uh, with the same dealer who gave me the sample of this product said it's not yet available for sale in India so when I did some online search and also when I spoke to a few dealers uh, I found that the bio C repair is the only bioceramic putty that is available right now in India to my knowledge so I have placed an order for this and once it reaches me maybe uh, I'll give you a feedback video about this product in my upcoming endo tail. So see you all soon. Hope this video was useful.